Scottish YouTuber was convicted of a hate crime and faces jail time after a video of him teaching his girlfriend's dog the Nazi salute went viral. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. In April 2016, Marcus Meachin, aka Count Dankula, uploaded this video to his channel, which shows his girlfriend's dog responding positively to several verbal cues, including gas the Jews and see Kyle. Kyle. See Kyle. See Kyle. See Kyle. The video is still live on Count Dankula's channel, though comments, sharing, and other features have been disabled. It's titled, Mate, Your Dog's a Nazi, and Meechan says he wanted to turn his girlfriend's dog, Buddha, into the least cute thing he could think of. A great idea like the time the PewDiePie went on Fiverr asking people to hold up a sign saying, Death to Jews. Meechan has always defended himself, saying that he shouldn't be in legal trouble for an offensive joke. He said, quote, I don't actually hate Jewish people and the video was just an insight into the darker side of my humor, a prank to annoy my girlfriend and that I did not intend for people other than people who knew my comedy to see the video. Oh yeah, I forgot when you put something on YouTube, you're only putting it up for only your fans to see. Like it doesn't go out to the rest of the world at all who might not be a fan of yours. Meechan will be sentenced later in April, but in his first tweet since his conviction, he wrote this. While awaiting sentencing, court has ordered that I meet with a court social worker for an assessment as to whether or not a restriction of liberty order will be placed on me. This would involve a GPS tracking device being attached to me and me being placed under house arrest. He also said that the context and intent of the joke should matter and not just the content. I mean that your actions no longer matter. They decide what your context and intent is. So for any comedians in Britain, be very, very worried about making jokes in future because your context and intent behind them apparently don't matter anymore. And guess what? Plenty of freedom of speech advocates out there agree. Like comedian Ricky Gervais, who tweeted, a man has been convicted in a UK court of making a joke that was deemed grossly offensive. If you don't believe in a person's right to say things that you might find grossly offensive, then you don't believe in freedom of speech. And Jewish comedian David Bedil said, the court should seek to acquit Mr. Meachin for no other reason but to show it is 2018 and not 1984. And the Pug video wasn't Dankula's first foray into offensive comedy. One of his most popular videos is this parody of the Animaniacs Nations of the World song with offensive descriptions of each country. Filthy cockroaches and thieving wee gypsies in the place that got f***ing nuked twice. Hitmen on scooters and edgy school shooters and the one where the president's a cuck, the one where it's sunny, the one with no money and the one that is completely f***ed. Muslims and Muslims and Muslims and Muslims and also that one with the Jews. Because of the nature of his content, Meechan has also attracted some unpleasant characters who are fans. For example, Meechan was supported in court this week by activist Tommy Robinson, author of the book Mohammed's Quran, Why Muslims Kill for Islam. And Meechan and Robinson both appeared on Infowars with Alex Jones to discuss the verdict. I've been found guilty of it and then I'm due to be sentenced on the 23rd of April. So they've, 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 they've raped your rights already, and now they're raping who, what you stand for and who you are. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's a, a huge, huge attack on my character because I don't exactly want to be known as that. Problem is, when hanging out with these guys, you're kind of aligning with their points of view. I mean, come on, you know Alex Jones. He's been consistently criticized for his anti-Semitic comments, including this clip where he says leftist Jews dressed up as KKK members for media attention. I mean, quite frankly, I've been to these events. A lot of the KKK guys with their hats off look like they're from the cast of Seinfeld. Literally, they're just Jewish actors. Nothing against Jews in general, but they're leftist Jews. They want to, you know, create this clash, and they go dress up as Nazis. And Robinson has been branded an anti-Muslim extremist by the Southern Poverty Law Center. That being said, it's not a crime to hang out with racists or put offensive jokes out there on the internet. Although, those people who do that suck. We actually feature comments around stories that we cover at this point, but for this story, it's actually pretty tough. For example, this tweet reads, Count Dankula's verdict equals the more diversity we have, the less freedom of speech we have. You know what? That's really disappointing. We should be able to have a conversation about free speech and what makes comedy, what doesn't make comedy without putting down diversity in this world. The problem is when things like this happen, whether it be with this guy or with PewDiePie, there's always someone to blame. We blame the platform like YouTube for not doing anything or when they do do something, we say it's an issue of freedom of speech. So right now, I'm not sure there is an answer, but I don't think the answer is to involve authorities unless someone's life is at risk. 
So do you think Count Dankula should go to jail over his Nazi pug video? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.